Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to look how to create a topic using Kafka Demon and Spring Boot application. So first we will open our repository and we will start our Kafka. So we will open the command line. We will copy the zookeeper commands to start the zookeeper. Zookeeper is started. We will open another command line to start the invoker. No, no broke browser has been started. Now let's try to create a Spring Boot application to create a topic using Kafka Admin. So first we will go to Spring Initializer. And we'll create a new Maven project. So we are going to use Java 8 version. Just click on download, generate. So it's been completed. We will open it. We will copy it and create a new folder. And open that project file. Open desktop Kafka, and we can select that project. Yeah, now let's add the Kafka dependencies. We will open the com. We will go to Maven repo. And we can search for Kafka. And still Kafka. We can choose. And the version 2.9.6. We can copy it. And we can add this in our form.xml. Refresh our Maven. And another thing is web. Spring Boot Starter Web. Now let's create the config directory package config and we will add a motor Kafka admin config and put that configuration. Now we need to add a variable to store the bootstrap property, so we will add that. And now we need a variable to store the topic name. Now we let's create the Kafka admin property. 
so in this one actually we are calling the kafka admin class and we are passing the configuration of the bootstrap server now we need to create the now we need to create the bean class to create the new topic so here we have a new topic class which is responsible for creating the new topic using kafka admin So in this admin class we have a variable bootstrap address to store the bootstrap URL which is localhost 9092 and we have a variable topic to store the topic name and we have a bean class known as kafka admin to add the configuration for the admin class. So in this admin we are passing the admin client config and we are passing the bootstrap configuration and the value is a bootstrap address and we have another a bean class new topic so which is responsible for creating a new topic so in this new topic we need to pass topic name number of partition and replication so in this three parameter we need to pass now let's add the bootstrap value and topic value in the application.yaml file so we'll just create new file application.yaml And we need to add these properties. Copy this. Keep it here. So spring Kafka and bootstrap server and Kafka topic. So our bootstrap server is running in. <laughs> the port localhost 9092 and let's create a topic test hyphen topic hyphen kafka Let's see what is it. I'm able to find the value. Okay, that is the issue. So, once again, let's start. It's working. Okay, so we, have, we already have the Kafka in the top level, so we can remove it and we'll start once again and check whether it's running now. Yeah, it started. So you can see Kafka application has been started. And let's check whether the topic has been created. So we'll go to the command line. And copy the and we'll try to execute. Here, so here we can see our topic name, test topic of car, and we will just try to create one more topic. Test topic. Create topic using spring. start once again and see whether the new topic is reflecting or not. So some error. Okay, actually we are not supposed to keep space in the topic name, so let's use dot instead. Let's open command line once again and see whether the new topic has been created. And we'll 
copy the command key. Yeah, our new topic has been reflected. So this is how we can create new topic using Kafka admin and Spring Boot. So we'll see more video on Kafka on coming videos. Till then, bye.